Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are fine and well. Today we're going to talk about the topic compound interest. Do you know compounding compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world? This is according to Albert Einstein, our top scientist. He said once that compound interest created by humans are the eighth wonder of the world. Now, do you know what is a compound interest? Do you know what is the effect of compounding? It is your investment, your money, the principal plus the interest and continue to grow. Over time, it becomes a snowball effect and it kept growing and it continuously to grow non-stop. All right. So let's look at the practical effect of compound interest. Say for example, you have 10,000 right now, 10K right now, nah? RM 10K. You are given three options. Number one, leave the money at home and do nothing with it. Number two, bring the money to the bank and keep it in FD and earn about 2% interest per, per year. And number three, find an investment and cap it over there and let it grow with 9% per year. So over time, how does your money grow? How much it will be over the years? We will find out later on. All right, so let's look at the power of compounding. Now, first of all, let's look at the effect of inflation versus the investment, which give you 2% return. Eh? Again, we are using the same capital of 10,000. Now, just now we have a first option, keep the money at home, isn't it? Now, do you know that it is a very big risk if you keep your money and at home and didn't do investment with it? You see, there is a thief known as inflation. In Chinese, it is called Tonghua Penzang, inflacy. If you didn't do anything for your money, if you didn't invest your money, your money shrinks in value. 10,000 right now will cost you more in future. It means to say you will need more money to buy the same services and the same goods in the future. Overall, we calculated in Malaysia, especially in overall uh, urban areas, the inflation is about 4 to 5% per year. If we are using 4% for this calculation purpose, after 5 years, the same 10,000 value right now will cost you more in the future. It will cost you 12,000 to get the same thing. And 10 years later, it will cost you 14,800 to buy the same thing right now with 10,000. And after 20 years, it will cost you 21,900 to buy the same thing you can buy right now with 10,000. So that is why a lot of people need a lot of money for their retirement, especially in future when they get old, they are not able to work, they need more money, they need more expenses. Generally, a person will need more than 1.5 million to 2.5 million for their retirement. That is why uh, we need to do investment. Eh? Uh, so inflation is there, it's eating away of our money. Now, the next thing we work, we calculate the investment which give you 2% return. So with a 2% return, after 5 years, it is about 11,000 only. Then 10 years, it is 12,000 only. And 20 years, it is only 14,800 plus. It can't even beat the inflation. So obviously, the investment which give you 2% return cannot beat the inflation it is a, not a good investment to hedge against inflation so what is the better options let's look at the next one look at the next one we look at an investment which give you nine percent of return with the same amount of capital investment 10k now again reverses the effect of inflation the inflation remains the same but currently we are having a different rate of returns. We are having 9% per year in that investment. So over five years, the investment grows to 15,386. 10 years later, it become 23,673 ringgit. It have already doubled within 10 years with a 9% per year. And after 20 years, it became 56,000 ringgit. So the investment of 10K after 10, 20 years becomes 56,000 ringgit. It have already grown by um, 460%, eh? 460 over percent. So this is the effect. If you choose wisely, you will have more for your money. 
you make your money work harder for you. So next, the last one, let's look at the comparison between the investment of 2% versus the investment which give you 9% return per annum. The same capital of 10K. You see, after 5 years, 10 years and 20 years, your, in your investment really have a big difference. 5 years, the investment difference is 4K, about 4K. 10 years, the difference is about 11K. And 20 years, the difference is about 42K. So guys, the same amount of capital, if you choose to put it in different vehicles, it really make a big difference over the years. And this is the power of compounding. I hope it makes you guys understand better of how to make your money grow better for your future. Because if you didn't do so, inflation is there. It's the silent theft that is makan away of eating away of our money. Guys, I hope you guys can choose wisely. Thank you. Alright, so now you know the effect of compound interest to your money if you choose to invest in different vehicles. Of course, compound interest works well over time. And with a better interest, with a better returns of investment, your money grows better and can fulfill all your financial goals and financial objectives. Now, if you would like to know more about investment plannings, you can consult me, we can have a chat, we can even have a private meeting to discuss further. That's all for today. Thank you so much. See you next time.